Well, hello everybody. Welcome to a wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure and Stars 1. Yeah, so I got this game. It was for like 8 bucks or something like that on Steam. So I figured I'm an early access sucker. And so, yeah, so we're going to see kind of what this game is all about. You know, it's your typical early access game. It's a survival game that I know of, or from my understanding of it. And yeah, and so let's kind of dive in and go from there. There is a few settings and stuff, and I turned the music to a particular level. So hopefully this won't be too loud. Hopefully you'll hear me over the music and the sound effects. But let's just go single player. I was playing a test world just to see how it works. You can see a little preview in the picture there. Let's go boof. Let's go delete, never to see again. So this game offers a profile. You can create a profile. Right now all you can do is just create a guy. You can change the name. So I, I created a new profile. I named it and I deleted the old profile. Okay, so we should be a Charlemagne. Uh, there's some control scheme as well. And it gets, it's actually quite complex. But that's okay. There are some visual settings. Uh, we'll quickly kind of peek through here so there's quite a bit of stuff uh, controls there's a whole kind of schwack of them here all right so gonna go cancel and yeah so let's kind of dive in let's go new world new world if we go what is it YouTube land okay and we're just gonna click on random a few times here that looks like a good number um, I'm going to pick big because normal or small is just too small and if it's big we're going to have more more materials. World smoothness, um, I'm going to kind of tweak this a little bit because I want the, the planet kind of more smooth. I'm not sure what happens with all this stuff so let's, I find that this is usually okay on you know, all of these settings. Maybe we should up these settings here uh, density of the fruits vegetables because on normal settings we don't quite ah whatever let's just go normal let's just go create and let's see what happens okay here we are we're in the world and this is at time of recording and it kept all my stuff with me well that is very odd interesting so let's quickly hop out so I didn't realize that the profiles are actually persist so let's go to the main menu let's not save that that is very 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 funny okay so let's go profile what happens if we go create new go create player and go let's delete Charlotte War Okay, let's create new. Now we go Charlin or. Okay, and let's delete. This is more of an experiment. I just want to see what happens if we go back into this world. Okay, perfect. So there we go. I have absolutely nothing. Ooh, you're supposed to start with an ice pick. Huh. So do we punch a tree for wood? And there's no sound effects. Uh, early access, what can I tell you? So let's do this. <laughs> okay, man. Uh, uh, it's good to explore this, just to, to see all the problems, right? So if we go single player, Delete. Let's go new world. Random, random, random. Oh, I want big world. Random, random, random. Okay, YouTube. <laughs> Let's just call it YouTube. Let's make sure the smoothiness is up to 60. I like that. And let's pop this up a bit. Let's pop up the ore veins. Maybe the fruits, the vegetables, and that should be okay. Let's see what happens here now. I'll meet you on the other side. Okay, perfect. 
Oh, there you go. See, you start with an ice axe. So basically, you have to create your character before you create anything else. Okay, so off we go. And basically, it's going to be just like any other survival game. You got your food bars, the bottom left. You have your V. Oh, V is for view, but maybe that's only in vehicles. So I'm going to chop this tree down because we need the, uh, the wood. And basically, yeah, I'm just shift clicking it into my inventory as always. And this is an ore vein. Now there's some rocks here. So basically, we're going to find the ocean. And then let's pound these rocks up. So we only need enough materials to kind of start everything off. So we basically need to make a workbench because this game has workbenches and stuff like that. So the first kind of point of contact for crafting is your C button. And you see we have some basic stuff here. Campfire for cooking off of uh, and for light. So we can also, if we scroll down here, we can produce stone axe. So if we have the right materials, we can craft a stone axe, which is already going to be better than our ice axe. All right. And then we're going to have a torch for nighttime. We can craft one of those. We'll drag that down here. So I'm just kind of clicking on this. I'm scrolling down, clicking and craft, and the wooden workbench. That is another thing that we need. So all this stuff can be picked up uh, with the wrench when you find it. But uh, what else can I craft? I think that's it. I think now the next step would be like a pick and whatnot. So let's run this way. Let's see. This is a lemon tree. We want that. That's for food. We're actually going to turn this into a seed. So we do that through the crafting. And we can actually type in lemon. Click on find. We can go lemon seed. So basically what I'm going to do in this series is just play the game. There is points of grinding. Uh, this game does get very grindy. I've played the game for about five hours on my own. And yeah, it was very interesting, nevertheless. And so here we go. So I picked a huge world because I found that the normal world just did not have enough craftable stuff, like enough resource nodes and everything. So this way, we can kind of find a place and eventually what ends up happening is you end up oh there we go there's an ocean way down over there so i'm going to build near the ocean uh, just because it's easier to find your place it's usually one big island anyways right now there's not too much in the game there are creatures that roam around but they're very easy to kill they run around at night so they're again they're affected by the sun maybe there's some sort of mutant zombie here on the planet i don't know but again early access like look at all the placeholder graphics right like the trees are okay the grass is not too shabby placeholder rocks you can definitely tell for that there we go there's the ocean and you know this kind of stone axe looks terrible <laughs> and hopefully that the developers continue to make the game and it's not just one of those fly by night things so far they seem pretty receptive and well, maybe receptive. I know they've commented to one of my posts on the Steam forums, so that's kind of nice. So right down here, so we're going to build kind of by the ocean. There's a little lake here, which is kind of neat. I didn't know that there was this kind of generation. Maybe just in the huge. So I haven't found any other edible things. Usually you come across a few more things. Maybe even some vegetables in the ground. I haven't really stumbled upon that maybe with a vehicle we'll be able to do that that's the other kind of reason why i picked the huge map Ooh, or maybe we can build an island there <laughs> or maybe not <laughs> oh here we go there'll be bananas down here definitely want to pick some of these up and the water is easy to make you just, you can make bottles with the resin oh eight bananas okay so let's make some seeds here so we can clear this up hit find to you come back here we can make some banana seeds one two three four we don't need too many of these bad boys the lemon seeds so where will we start maybe we'll start 
is this this is a vein these are probably regular rocks okay maybe we'll put the banana trees with the other banana trees kind of keep them on the the shore here maybe just put them in the row I don't know that looks like a good idea and if these trees can grow in here too maybe we'll put them in the same kind of row I don't know something like that I'll go there we go okay so those lemons will produce us some food we need to eat the bananas because they'll turn into fertilizer so just kind of move on the hot bar you left click to eat it okay okay perfect so now we have our workbench where do we want to put it well we can put it anywhere so let's kind of use this this beach as a place we use the four and six key to rotate the little arrow indicates kind of the direction it's facing so we'll put it right here it's going to float there which is fine we need to access new recipes we need to make an axe with the iron ingot and we need to make anvil with iron ingots so in order to get iron ingots you obviously need to make a smelter we also need to make some bottles so i'm going to make just you only need one bottle of water i think or two maybe two bottles of water so you always have to create four bottles because <laughs> the wonderful system will will consume them will use was it, it'll cook you a bottle and, and give you an empty one so basically you'll have two bottles of water and two empty bottles and that's just the way it is it's a weird mechanic but yeah okay so back to this so we can continue uh, there's a hammer the hammer lets you do stuff but we need basically we want the pickaxe so we want we need stone furnace so we have enough a plenty stone so let's craft that I'm probably gonna make each of these episodes around 25 minutes and I'm gonna try to make them continuous and I'm gonna grind in between potentially so we're gonna craft that okay uh, do we need anything else this is a wooden chest for storage but we need metal small iron parts which means we need the ingots for which means that we basically have to place a stone furnace and let's place that like so you can kind of customize how these are placed the ground's kind of awkward here so let's just place it like that okay and let's go ahead and use it so basically I'm just gonna throw some iron ore in here doesn't matter I don't think we need to well, maybe we'll keep some of that we'll just we'll create 25 and I'm not sure how much iron is required or coal is required so I think we'll just put five units in there and basically I will come back once these are smelted down because these take a while and yeah I'll be right back okay so as you can tell there is a day night cycle to the game and it goes very very fast there's no settings for that yet so basically uh, look at the placeholder torch I don't know if I like the style of the art even this is it all looks like it's placeholder so see it's still processing still waiting here and I guess I could I could build a campfire we could do that uh, this way we can kind of at least there's no timer to the crafting so that's kind of cool let's place this here just left click to place I'm gonna put the bottles of water here I'm gonna put one coal ore in here oh no I just want one <laughs> that's okay that should keep it going I guess we could have used wood so yeah so there's placeholder workbench so basically within this workbench I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom we need to make this one we need some iron ingots and iron plates to make iron plates we use an anvil and we pound out stuff with an anvil so next item of business would be an anvil then we need tools we need the axe we need the pickaxe hammer and there's a sword there's a shovel which helps you level like level the ground like get rid of the grass and yeah and the workbench that's the the important part and that will allow us to build a wrench which means then yeah which means then we can pick up this stuff 
and then we can kind of start building out in the back down in there. I'm going to have to change the mouse as well a little bit. And so let's see. We're only at 11 ingots here, so I'm going to pick these up. Okay, and where are we at for a campfire? See, the two bottled water, like I told you. And basically, we're going to drink one right away. Left click. I'm hearing stuff, but I'm thinking it's because I'm on the sand. I'm paranoid about those creatures around. I do have an axe that we can use to kill them. It's not a big deal if we come across them. Uh, hoping not, but you never know. Okay, so we need to make an anvil. So that's the next order of business here. We just go craft, bang. So basically this is what we're doing. Is we're basically giving ourselves all the basic early tools and so this game has a lot of this kind of crafting in it and yeah so I'm kind of kind of excited for playing a game that's a you know, like a little bit different it's not always the same old stuff um, <laughs> some people might think it's the same but whatever I don't know it's gonna kinda hold my my attention span for a little while, maybe get a good 20-30 hours out of it. I want to kind of explore the vehicles and stuff that are in the game. There is that stuff, so it does you get bigger, and I'm wondering if there's like a space that we can fly out into. Uh, supposedly that's a thing as well for the game. It has that kind of scope, so that's why there's a lot of potential for this game. So yeah, so now we need to pound out these things. We just basically place them in here. And just tap on work and off we go you know so yeah so I'll be right back here and yeah I'll be back once I've built a few plates maybe maybe what three or four plates well, I don't know I'll pound these all into plates I'll be back when they're done yeah so as you can tell there see so six iron plates it takes a long time and you have to stay in this interface if you hop out of it it stops working right away and we're gonna have darkness and it's pitch black and I'm not gonna do any kind of editing so I want you to see what it's like for me and we still got this kind of burning down so let's grab those ingots okay so now we can craft an axe since that will replace our existing axe and then we want the pick so we can harvest all the, the rocks with best efficiency pickaxe Okay, what else do we need? We need a shovel, which takes a plate for flattening. And I think we can now build the workbench. Two and five, which we have enough. Bang, we have the new workbench. So we're gonna have to place this bad boy. And then I think we'll build the wrench, pick up everything and decide where we wanna kinda build. So let's put this pickaxe here the old tools there. Let's kind of move this stuff down over here. My hot bar, workbench, shovel, perfect. And is there a weapon in here? I thought there was. I thought there was a sword, but maybe that's in the other workbench. Yeah, no, maybe it's in the upgraded workbench, which we can put like this, I think. Let's put it beside this campfire. And Ah, here we go. Here's the sword. So we need a regular plank. We can click on this and it will give us this. We can just type in one, craft, and then we can click on the find again to go back to the sword. Let's craft the sword, which will use up all our ingots. Now we have a weapon. So let's kind of move this stuff down. See grass removed with the, the shovel. All right. We can also change that tool. If we hit F1, we got that wonderful quick thing there um, we, so we have a wonderful sword a very very basic rudimentary combat it works but it's more of an annoyance so yeah that's that so yeah so here we go so this is kind of like what we're doing and I think we'll continue on with the next episode we built our first basic tools you you've kind of seen kind of what we do you know the progression from the workbench and up we usually kind of move fairly quickly because this workbench can make everything this one can. This is more just a step and I'm not sure why bother with this. Oh yeah, I have the search here. You have to get out of that. 
I don't know why you bother with this. I guess maybe if you want some building blocks. Uh, I don't know really actually why. Maybe this is kind of just like early, early stuff. Yeah, pickaxe. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Small iron parts. See, they, use, they actually use both, so we'll have to make more plates. And we have to actually probably process more. Let's kind of use half. See how much that will process before it runs out. Campfire is out. Actually, no, that's maybe... Okay, if I go control, left click, it takes one unit. If I right click, it takes half a stack. So that's kind of interesting. Shift click takes the whole thing. Yeah, well, so we'll let that do that. So yeah, so there you go, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for, wa for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.